up welcome back to my channel yes i'm starting a video off with no makeup on because this is going to be my first ever get ready with me talk through i was going to make a separate vlog just talking and updating just feeding you guys information that i feel like you guys should know or if you have been wondering any questions then you'll probably find your answer in my update but i said you know what let me just do a get ready with me i feel like i don't really know how to do my makeup anymore it's been a while it's been a month or two not two it's been more than a month actually and yeah so this is a get ready with me talk through and I have a few things that I want to talk about. Anyways, so a lot of people have been, not a lot, but a few people have been asking where do I, I don't got nothing, where do I go for school or where did I used to go because I am officially transferred. I'm not going back to that place. Um, If you don't know, I'll leave a video down below of when I was having a, a little, I was a little confused as to if I should stay at the school or come home depending on certain situation. Like I was in a situation and if you don't know what that situation is, go and watch the video. I'll leave the link down below. And, um... Yeah, I decided to come home. Anyways, yeah, I was back to school. I went to school in Baltimore, Maryland. And the school I went to, can I get a drum roll, please? I'm so lame. I went to Coppin State University. And I know, you've never heard of it before, right? Me either. So I was a little skeptical at first um, going there. I know nothing about the school. Nobody I know went there, which was a good thing. And also a kind of bad thing, because I'm an introvert. I don't really know how to talk to people, which is bad. So, yes, yeah, so I went to Coppin State University in Baltimore. And yeah that's where i went for everybody who wanted to know uh speaking of baltimore baltimore riots was i'm not even kidding you literally a few blocks from my school my school address is on west north avenue and it was on that same that's a main street it was on that same main strip the guy who got arrested and then died he was arrested on west north avenue it was just another cross street so it was literally like probably four or five blocks down um so when they were rioting and stuff, it was in my area. I was kind of scared at first because I was already scared um, for coming to school. Not really scared, but I didn't really feel safe or secure going to school in the area by myself. I know nothing about... It's not good to judge, but based off of what I already knew about the city, it, was a bad, it wasn't a good city. And then driving to my school, like if you literally... If you come out my school and you make a left right wherever you go the, the first thing you see is boarded up houses vacant houses people chilling on the, on, on the porch of those vacant houses smoking you know what i mean and it didn't really um paint a pretty picture for me even after what i assumed the city was like so again i was like i was already kind of i didn't i never ever 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 left the school to go anywhere besides my aunt house when she came when my cousin came to pick me up and to the mall across, across the street and that's only because it was literally across the street see this is why i can't even make my talk because i'm so Anyways, yes, it was literally across the street. If it was one or two blocks down, I would have never went. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Yes, I was already kind of fearful because, and if you're from Baltimore, please don't take no offense. This is just my opinion. This is just how I felt when I heard the writing. But then again, I'm like, you know, it's not going to come so close. You know what I mean? But then they decided to break into the mall across the street. And like I said, it's literally across the street, literally. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they coming up here and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it was just crazy seeing it on the news and then looking outside my, my room window and then seeing it happen. I didn't really see the fights and the stuff. But what I did see, which was kind of funny, but not funny, was when they were stealing from the mall, people came out with freaking, cause the lady on the news is like, this just in, we have just gotten reports from broken and blah, blah, blah from my down the mall. I'm looking out the window. I see a boy walking down the, the, um, the block, looking back and forth, walking fast. And he has three bags. I forgot the name of the store. It's probably, um, Vim. I don't know the name of the shoe store. Um, three bags in his hand with like sneaker boxes in them. And you can tell cause of the shape. And the only thing that's going through my mind is not only did he steal the sneakers, cause you know, he, he walking fast, looking guilty, walking, speed walking, jogging. I'm like, not only did he steal the shoes, he put them in a bag like when you're stealing something i don't know but i because i never stole before but i would think if you're stealing something i'm not gonna put nothing in no bag i'm grabbing and running he really packed them nice and neatly in the bag that was so funny to me so yeah and then i also saw, saw some other people like you know the red carts at target packed when i say packed they were full right and they were strolling down the street pushing the cart not walking casually just like you know speed walking with the target um cart and i'm like it was it was kind of it was weird it was and, and funny at the same time because i'm like no these people did not just steal the target card full of stuff okay so yeah that was that was that was my whole thing and that was kind of like the last straw for me i was like thank god I'm, I'm leaving and blah 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 so that's it for school yep um did i choose a school that i'm going to in new york yes i only applied to one school um i'm pretty confident I, I don't know if i got it i think i got in i think that's how it goes but you know um i just finished school so my final grades they're waiting on that transcript to get in to come in but um I mean, I'm a, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty confident. I think I got in, though. I think it's a halfway got in. Anyway, somebody said I should vlog when I start going to school up here. Maybe, maybe not. 
because like I said, I'm an introvert. So if I make some friends, then maybe. But then again, I don't live on campus, so I probably have one or two people that I'll probably talk to. And then, what else? Okay, switching over from school now. And all, all actually, all who don't know what I want to be, I want to be a, I'm going to school to become an RN. And then I'm going to get my master's degree and become a midwife. I'm not sure yet. I know I want to deliver babies and deal with the ultrasound and stuff, but... I don't know what title I'm going to go for. I can go for OBGYN, I can go for midwife, I can go for, you know, there's other things I can, other titles. But I'm all about the natural thing, like naturally giving birth. I just think it's much, I don't know, that's just my preference, so that's why I say midwife. But anyways, changing the topic, let's go on to my name. As you guys can see, my name is, I'm not going to say it's not Beauty X Fashion X Style anymore. See how, how, how long that is to say? I hate that. Anyways. I changed it to talk to you for branding purposes. Um, I definitely want to do a lot, you know, in the future. Whether I grow or not, I still want to do a lot, especially business-wise in Jamaica, in America, but mostly in Jamaica because I, I don't know. I, I even though I wasn't born there and my, my family is from there, I still feel, you know, I, I want to contribute to building the economy and, um, you know, providing more jobs for people and, you know, helping out. That's what I want to do personally for Jamaica, not for the country itself, but just for my people. Like I know people down there who don't work, and you know, it, it's just sad to see that, you know, whatever else. It's just actually that, you know, you can't go to school, like they say, and when you graduate, there's no guaranteed job for you, you know, it's, it's tough. But anyway, yes, um, so for branding purposes, and I feel like if I was to meet someone on the street for my videos, or if a company wants to talk to me or do business with me or anything, I don't want them to say, hey, beauty X fashion X style, like, that just sounds so weird. I mean, even though, if you're on my vlogging channel, you know my name, but if you just randomly come across my video on YouTube, I don't want you to say, oh, beauty, like, even my, my, my cousins that watch my channel, they, like, mix up the words, or, um, beauty style, I, um, no, that's not my name, so I just put it to Tati, it's much more easier, and I like it, it's different to me, nobody on YouTube has that name, well, not that name, has that spelling, I know T-A-T-I, her name is Tatiana, she's white, I watch her, I don't know why I said she's white, but I watch her, as well, um, and, yes, so my URL, somebody on YouTube who made a video 10 years ago, you know them old channels, has the username Tati, but it was telling me I can't have that as my URL, I have to put like numbers behind it, and I said I am not putting no freaking numbers behind my name, so I was thinking I should put official Tati, but in order to have that URL, I'll have to change my name from Tati to official Tati, and I was like, I don't want to do that, and then, then again, um, if you can only change a name on YouTube a certain amount of times, kind of like Facebook, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to have the same URL. Until I got an email like a week later saying you are um, eligible to get that Tati name. And I tried everything. And they still wanted me to put numbers behind it or another word or something. And then they said I can have the Tati name or whatever. And I was like, yay. So now you can type in youtube.com slash Tati, which is T-A-T-T-I-E, as you know. And you will get me. You will see me. So I'm just really, really extremely excited about that. Um, I actually want to try putting on my foundation with the beauty blender today because I never tried it before. So give me a minute. Yeah, so I got the URL. I'm extremely happy, but I'm still keeping it as formally known as because either way, whether you put in Tati or not, you, I'm still my URL is still Beauty X Fashion X Style, and all of my other videos still have that like in the video itself. So I'm not gonna like disregard the name completely. Plus, that's still what my channel consists of. Anyways, okay, so I absolutely love how this sponge, well, the Beauty Blender, it has a name. Okay, applies my friggin' foundation. I. Okay, I'm never going back to a brush, okay? So anyway, this is the next thing on my list to talk about. What was I even talking about before? Anyways, filming days. Okay, I asked you guys what filming days I should choose, and a few of you guys gave me some... What do you call it? Some days, some days, anyways. And they weren't, like, consistent. Like, some of you guys are saying Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Some people say Sunday, Tuesday, something else. Um, so, and then somebody else said, said it doesn't really matter as long as I upload, they'll be watching regardless. So I said, you know what, I'm not going to have a schedule. I'm just going to say three videos a week. So just, it, it can be back to back. It can be, you know, because, you know, anything can happen and I don't want to promise a date and then not follow through. So I'm just going to say three videos a week. Okay, that's my schedule, three videos a week. And then, um, people were saying I should vlog. A lot of people want me to vlog my daily life, which is so boring. I don't do anything, honestly, but, um, if I do something, definitely I'm going to vlog it. Well, not definitely, but, you know, I'm going to try and vlog it. So, yeah, now that I know that you guys love it, it's not going to be like a, a if or what thing. I'm just going to vlog. Um, somebody else said um, I should vlog when I start going to school, like my school life. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I feel like I, I just entered this already. If I did, whatever. Um, and yes, um, expect to see some improvements in my editing. I really want to go hard with the editing instead of just chopping it up and upload it. I want to incorporate some more things different editing skills and you know things like that because I know how to edit like I edited a music video before like two years ago if you guys type in I personally didn't 
I wasn't confident about it because I'm like, oh my gosh, why does she want me to edit her video? I'm not good, but she liked it, and that, at the end of the day, that's what counts. But I, I wasn't like confident in it. So you can type in "Goodbye" by Kari. I'm actually gonna leave the link down below if you guys wanna see it. Remind you, that was either two or three years ago, okay? When I was like 17. So yes. And I've been using Photoshop since I was like 11, so I know how to edit all of that. I used to do party flyers. I don't do it no more though, because I really don't have the interest to. So, yeah, I'm going to stop being lazy and make my stuff look ton up. And I want to create a logo, but that will come in time. I am focusing on the logo right now, because I'm not near the branding stage yet. So, yeah. I love the fact that the video I put up for my boyfriend for his birthday... I love, I love the fact that all you guys love it so much, like, I didn't expect to see so much love, not saying that, not saying that I don't have people on here that support and love me, but just for that video, that video has the most likes, um, on my vlog channel, period. And any other regular video I ever uploaded except for, like, the Box Braid one, which that one kind of took off and has, like, hundreds and thousands of views. So, not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, regular videos that I upload. So, thank you guys so much for that. I snapshot them and... Send them, to, send them to him. Oh, why did I put on white? And he laughed and he loved it and Ray Ray Ray. He, he's like, um, um, next time we together we have to do a video and blah blah blah. And he think I don't want him on my channel. He think, oh, I'm ashamed and blah blah blah. Like, nigga, ashamed of what? What are you talking about? It's just that he's annoying. Period. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely you guys will see him soon. Cause um, it's freaking May already, and I feel like I, I feel like I just uploaded the Jamaica vlog the other day, which was January. So that's crazy. So see him again. Also, I'm I haven't I've never had like a real job before, guys. Don't laugh. I'm not spoiled. Well, at least I don't think so. Other people might have. Where the hell is it? Oh, other people might have other opinions. But I never had like a real job before. At college, I did work study, and you know I like that because I work in a computer lab. And hello, I'm always on the computer, and I'm just assisting people for things that I already know how to do, like um how to put numbers at the top of the page or how to make sure this is MLA format. You know, simple things like that that you know the older people don't know how to do so, so i washed my brush this morning it's my back shampoo so yeah i had that kind of job but i never had like a nine to, nine to five i usually work like probably like eight hours a week which was really nothing and i don't really count that count, count, count it as a job because most of the days i'm just sitting there and i'm not doing anything just sitting there on my computer watching videos and replying to you guys so I want to work at MAC, Sephora, Ulta, any type of job like that, like any type of makeup store. I would prefer MAC or Sephora, really, because that's where I'm usually at. That's what I like. That's what I use, products from them. So it would be nice if, if I can work there. And, um, you know, it would just be nice if I can work there because it's like, it, I, I would feel so comfortable because I know where everything is. I know, you know, how things work already. So it wouldn't be much that they have to teach me when it comes to knowing information. Also... But my thing is, I, I'm, I, I, I say all the time I don't want to do people makeup, but recently I've fallen in love with makeup in general, and I don't want to do that as a profession, not at all. I'm going to leave that to the people who really dream, eat, sleep, and, you know, makeup, which is not really me. I love it for fun, but I'm not going to. Mm -mm. But, you know, if I have to do that to get the job at Macross Sephora, I'll do people makeup, sure. I'm just into, like, selling people stuff, because if I love this palette... You know, I don't, I don't know. I, I want to work there. I want to work there so bad. Sephora or Mac. Now, I heard through the grapevine that Mac got a good employee discount rate. Um, and my cousin was telling me about it too. Because she know a lot of people that work at Mac. Like, she's always in here, but she never want to work there. And she's a, a makeup artist and whatever. So, I'm like, shoot, maybe I should work at Mac. And at the end of the day, it's not about that. It's about, you know, selling the product. They want people who are going to sell the product. And I use, I stay by my Mac foundation. Like, I love it. So, and I love my products that are from Sephora, so. That's where I want to work. So that's what I'm going to look into. Any Mac store, really. You don't have to be thinking about support because I know um, there's other um, makeup stores. Also, I have some hauls coming up. I'm thinking if I should film them today or tomorrow. I don't know. Some hauls, of course. One is a makeup one and the other one is um, just random stuff that I want to show you guys just in case you guys want to purchase or you guys want to see. I like pretty things, guys. I buy things that are pretty. Can you believe I bought glasses off eBay the other day and I accidentally threw them out? I'm so mad, but they were only two dollars. But so what? You know, that's my two dollars that I work for. Yes, so I have some hauls coming up. I think I'm gonna film them today. Um, yeah. What else do I have to put on? I don't want to put anything on. I have all these makeup palettes, and I don't even be using them. When was the last time I used a naked? We gonna do a little makeup look today. 
we gonna do something cause it's been a while. But then I wanna do lip swatches, so it ain't gonna be nothing dramatic. I could tell you that. Can you come on? It's crazy how I'm just a self-taught makeup enthusiast, which is what I like to call myself, because I'm not certified in any way, shape, or form. But, um, because sometimes I'll be talking to, like, people, like, my cousins and stuff. People always ask me makeup-related questions, people who know me. Like, if I'm some makeup artist. And, um, yeah. And I'd be like, um, you have to... All right, what's a makeup term? Put it in your inner corner. Put that color in your inner corner on. Put that on your brow bone. They'd be like, what? I'm putting it on my lid. I'm, uh, no, not lid, because they don't know that either. I'm putting it all over my eye. So... It'd be so weird talking to people and it's like, oh yeah, I gotta remember that, you know, this is makeup language, so. Yeah, should I do makeup one? I mean, make it one and make it two. <clears throat> what else do I have to talk about? I don't know what I have to talk about. I don't have anything else, honestly. This is like white. I don't like it. I can't wait to go back to Jamaica December. This is white. This is this look white on me. Let's put a pigment over it. See how it's gonna look. You y'all know, yo, growing up, even now, I go crazy for Jamaican comedies. Ooh, this is so pretty. It's it's like white, but once you like blend it, it's like a purplish color. We'll see. Anyways, let me show you because they're right here. I used to freaking well, I still do Blue Mountain Theater. Do you love him, then bun him. I know, right? But, yo, these Jamaican DVDs, I love them. Pasa Pasa, I know any everybody, if you are even from the Caribbean period, seen this one. This one was a very popular one, Pasa Pasa with Precious. And who had it done? Um, that one was alright, it wasn't really funny. Um, Bashman Granny 2. But, like I said, the Blue Mountain Theater ones, you can find some of them on YouTube. The Blue Mountain Theater ones, I freaking love them. And they stopped, like, probably five years now. I have never heard of them ever again. And they're, like, in England at the Blue Mountain Theater. They do their shows in England, so... As a matter of fact, if any of you guys know of any Jamaican comedies or anything, let me know. Because I love Jamaican comedies. See how it looks purple? It's weird. But I like weird. Should I put some type of glitter on top? Like this? I think I am. I really think I am. So, I have that on my eyes. I'm about to line it. I'm going to call it a day. Guys, I know you want to see my room. I have been getting requests um, to see my room since I started YouTube. But it's just not... Okay. I just make it on there. It's just not done. It's not done. And it doesn't make sense to show you. But this summer... Not even this summer. Start in June. Um, which is when summer starts. Anyways, I'm going to be doing, like, videos. Like, you see, like, how I did style in my room with the polka dots? I'm not going to just show you guys my room. I'm just going to show you piece by piece when I add because there's some things I want to do. Like I want to add shelf in on the wall itself, like some white shelves. I want to, I want to do a few things. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And they're all going to be like, not DIY, but I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> just look out for it. I mean, it's cute or whatever. It's cute or whatever. Can you guys see the light is so bright? Is that the mirror giving me that glow? No, it's the Missy Lynn palette. Get you one. So I'm gonna put my lashes and then come back to close out this video. Okay, I'll be back. So I'm so freaking mad because I was recording and it was actually recording, but my battery died and it shut off. And I was doing this flickering thing and it basically deleted the last clip. So you guys didn't see when I lied my, my, my lip. You guys didn't see when I showed you. These glasses, these are the $2 glasses I was talking about that I um, accidentally threw away. I don't even know if I was talking about it. That I accidentally threw, threw away. Um, I ordered another one from eBay. And then I also told you my, like they just came in. I was going to the door. My Ipsy bag for this month. And I was asking if you guys, why am I talking about this? I was asking if you guys want to see me do that in like my vlog. Like show you guys what I get my Ipsy bag. Because I'm always satisfied with what I get. Always. Always. Um, And it's flickering. And I don't like that. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Anyways. This light, I also explained that this light that you see is the, the window is open, not the window is open, the curtain is open, and the light is shining on the floor, and it's leaving up on my face, but I look godly. So anyways, I don't really care. Um, I'm using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Love LUV, um, and I line my lips with a brown pencil. Yeah, so that's the lips, <clears throat> and if you are familiar with the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, you know that they dry to a matte finish, and when I tell you this is not going anywhere when it dries, it's not going anywhere. I can kiss your man like 10 times. <laughs> I'm playing, that was a joke. <laughs> Thank you, my man. Like 10 times, and it's not going anywhere, so 
and it's already starting to dry so yes i'm pretty mad about it deleting the last clip um but let me oh i forgot this wasn't closed this is the um pigment that i have on my eyes it's still not closed and it's by salty cosmetics and it's white let me show you i got this in my ipsy bag probably like a year or two ago it's white as you can see when you put it on the skin it turns like to a purple iridescent color that is so pretty and it's the glitter that i used so yes it goes hand in hand so i hope you guys enjoyed this little talk through get ready with me girl i didn't even spray my setting spray even though we ain't going nowhere i hope you guys enjoyed it it was my first one definitely not my last if you guys enjoyed it i hope this was informal and i'm about to um record this whole i don't know if i'm gonna do the makeup haul today probably tomorrow probably monday <laughs> so yes thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i'll see you guys in my next video bye see that it ain't going it ain't going nowhere it ain't going nowhere i love it